see this question now it says um, you're given basically a model with no technological progress so you know your g is zero the production function is given to you as this of course you have to go ahead and convert this in uh, the per capita terms and why can ntr aggregate output capital and population Population grows at the rate GN. So it is given that the population growth rate is GN. Savings rate is given to you. Capital depreciates. Small K is given to you. And then it says that there is a steady state at K star where KT plus 1 is equal to KT is equal to K star. Everything is given to you. K star is positive constant. Population growth has exogenously increased to GN star. So basically, it simply says simply that the new population growth is GN dash. Now, how will the aggregate output grow? Simple. Go back to your table. We know that where did I draw that table? Okay, here. So we know that output and capital grow at the same rate as the rate of labor. Labor is now growing at a rate of G N dash. That's the rate at which labor is growing. So because labor is now, I'm not concerned with how it was growing. It would have been growing at 5%. But currently it is growing at 7%. So my output will also grow at 7%. So because it is asking about aggregate output, aggregate output will grow at the same rate as labor. And labor is growing at GN dash. Use that table. Aggregate output, aggregate capital grow at the rate of labor. So my answer is B. It grows at the same rate as labor. That is it. You don't have to use the production function anywhere. You don't have to find the steady state. Nothing is required. Simply use the table and give the answer. Supposedly, it would have said that technology is growing at the rate maybe GA. Then, then you would have added technology growth rate here because then it is the sum of the growth rate of technology and labor, okay? 